and hello everyone welcome back to another Pascal tutorial in a previous tutorial we talked about procedures and I highly recommend if you haven't seen that tutorial yet to watch it before you watch this tutorial in this tutorial we'll be covering functions now functions and procedures are basically identical with the primary difference being functions can return a value back where procedures can just run slices of code as an example let's remove these procedures and rename this procedure to just sum now this sum will take in two integers but we also want it to return an integer and now it's no longer a procedure but a function in Pascal, there is a distinct difference between these two things. So it's good that you know the difference between a procedure and a function. A function is going to expect to return something, whilst a procedure is going to expect to just execute code. Now, to return something, you can just, and we can actually remove this variable here for now, say sum, so the name of the function here becomes num1 plus num2. Now this will return a value. So here we can now say, my num is sum 10 and 90. And now we can write a line 10 and, or no, sum, or my num actually. There we go. If we were to run this, we'll get 100. So it's the same as a procedure. You can still do a bunch of things here. For example, write line. Now you can write line 10 here or even hello. You can still do that. There's no, no problem here. You can still do things at the end. So goodbye. And you'll still get hello and goodbye. But you'll notice hello and goodbye both execute before this value is printed. Now, that is because this value is just returned. This doesn't print out anything or whatnot. This doesn't break or quit out of this function. This value is just stored inside of my num. So when we run this, it stores this value inside of my num. But sum itself, it doesn't get printed out or anything like that until right line. So if we were to comment out right line, we will only get hello and goodbye. So the reason you're seeing 100 at the end is because of this right line not because of this. Now let's go into something a bit more complex. How about a function such as is big to check if this is a big value? And we can just pass in num and it return a boolean. So it doesn't need to return an integer. And we can say is big becomes false to give big a default value. Then we can say if num is more than a thousand, then begin, end, and is big becomes true. So big will always return false unless num is more than 1000. Now I know some of you smart guys out there will go, okay, but you could just do this fast. But this is just an example to show you that you can later change this value through your code. So you should be careful because changing this value could determine the outcome of what is in here. So you should just be careful when you change it and always to check your if statements. Now, of course, if we were to check is big and we will to check it with a hundred, we'll get false. And my bad, this is an integer, so make, make it a Boolean. We can actually even just put is big inside that right line. We don't need a number. If we run now, we'll get false. But if we make this 10,000, will get true. And finally, one last example, let's create res. So this is just like a result. Here we can say make, which will be a Boolean, and it will return an integer. Now, you don't necessarily need to return a variable with the word res in it as the return value. As an example, let's just make this num again, and let's actually just turn everything back and make this num. If you, if you do this and we run it, we'll get an error. And there you go, res. Go like that. We'll get an error. 
because identifier is not not found is big and that is because this is big doesn't exist so this needs to be the same name as your function here it has to be but it doesn't have to be as an example let's go raise here we can say make which is boolean and returns an integer you could specify a variable result which is of type integer the same type that is being returned here this is generally seen as the better way to do it because using the function name is just a little bit frowned upon but using result is generally seen as the better way to go about it we can then give result a default value of 50 meaning when we call res we'll still get the same result so here we could put result becomes default to 50 and then at the very end of the function we say res becomes result now this is an optional way to do it but generally when i see pascal programs being written this is what i usually see when i see a function and take note a function doesn't need to take in a parameter if you just do that the function will run without an issue and we just remove that the parameter is just there so we can use it but it's just like a procedure it doesn't need a parameter now what we can do here is we can say if make not really sure why i called it make but i don't think it matters so if make then result becomes result plus 100 else result becomes result minus 100 and at the end we say raise becomes result now we need to pass in something in here so we say true for example now it will become result plus 100 and we can just remove that extra end there say end here now if we run it there we go we get 150 and if we make it false we get negative 50. now you might not quite understand the reasoning behind what i just showed you but it's just to show you that all a function is, is just a procedure that can also return a value. And when it returns that value, you can print it out or store it in a variable or whatnot. But take note, you can still do whatever you want inside of here. You're not limited to something specific. And it also show you to use a result variable instead of using res or whatever the function name is and only doing that at the very end. Because then you will never forget to assign to raise since it will always be your assigned result. But in short, TLDR function is just a procedure that returns a value for you. If we make this a procedure, we cannot return a value. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next Pascal tutorial.